We may be asked to multiply or divide negative numbers or a mix of positive and negative numbers. So we have two questions here, one asking us to multiply using negatives, one asking us to divide using negatives. And actually what we do is we use the same rules as we have for pluses and minuses. We just use them in a slightly different way. So it's important to remember these rules where if we've got two positives, it's a positive, two negatives, it's also a positive, and then when two symbols are different, then we've got negatives. So this time I'm going to look at the symbols that are in front of the numbers to find out which of these rules to use. So what I mean by that is you can clearly see for minus five, my symbol is a negative symbol, it's a minus symbol. Now you may see that 20 doesn't actually have a symbol. When we don't have a minus in front of a number, that means it's a positive number. So I can just pop a positive in there. So I'm going to look at these two symbols in front of the numbers. So I've got a positive there and a negative there. So a positive and a negative means I will have a negative. So my answer will be a negative. Okay. And what I do then is I just do the sum ignoring the signs. So I grab my calculator and you can do this on a calculator or you can do it in your head, whatever you like. But we've got 20 divided by five. And so I'm not putting in the symbols because I've already decided what my symbol's going to be for my answer. So 20 divided by five, and that gives me an answer of four. So my overall answer is negative four. Now also, you can just put this into a calculator. So if I put in 20, divided by minus five, and remember when I've got negative numbers, I use this symbol here, 20 divided by minus five, then that should give me negative four, and it does. Good. So that's a division. Let's have a look at another one now for a multiplication. So we've got here, minus three times minus two. So again, I'm looking at the symbols that are in front of the numbers. I've got two minuses here. Two minuses make a plus, therefore my final answer will be positive. It'll be a positive number. And now I can just ignore those symbols and do the sum with the numbers. So three times two is six. And so my answer will be positive six, or we usually just write that as six. And again, I could pop that into a calculator. So let's have a look at what we get. So minus three multiplied by minus two. And again, that gives us positive six. You can tell because there's no minus in front of that six. 